There's a big electrical storm brewing. Dang, it looks even worse, man. What's going on there? Lures are cheap. <laughs> and this morning, we all stink. Batten car exploded the bearings out of it. One fucking problem a week. Reese dude is out here right now. I love you guys, but I gotta get the fuck out of here. electrical storm brewing. Uh, I've been working with my mom uh, while she's back in the States. She's on Predict Wind as well, giving us uh, a little bit farther outlook uh, for the weather that's coming. Um, and then she's relaying that information by text message to our sat phone. She told us to go dead south. <laughs> Ever get the feeling there's a war going on? Don't mind that. We had a little cross swell this morning. a fish or the tease of there being a fish and having to reel in the seagasm. <laughs> it's sargassum but we just keep calling it seagasm. <laughs> so much of it. Yeah, it came back. Well, we got one green lure left. Just plants caught a vegan dinner. All the hooks are breaking off. Yeah, they're all rusty and breaking off. That's bullshit. Oh, yeah. What do you pay for them? That's a bummer. That's a big bummer. Alright, next time a flying fish is on board, he's bait. Hell yeah. Alright, so after the last few times fishing, we found out that our lures are cheap. <laughs> the actual hooks have been breaking on them. So we have one small minnow left. We have this pink squid type item with a big old size hook for something big. The, the lure not being in the water <laughs> drives me fucking crazy. <laughs> I can't stand it. We've got a lure that's supposed to be fishing because we've only caught one fish. All, the, all of the other lures have either been snatched by too big a fish uh, or have broken. So I drop the lure in the water on the back of the boat and let out about 10 or 15 feet. And it's this pink squid thing that's quite entertaining to watch. Not only I think am I at that point, but Jason's at that point. It's like watching a kid look out the window on a rainy day and they're told they can't play outside. That's what Brian looks like. Like he just looks at the fishing pole, the lure not in the water, it just wants to put it in so bad and play, but can't go outside and play. There is a yellow tail out there with my name on it. I must try and catch it. All right, another news. We are uh, about halfway. I think we're day 17. Sure. Day 17. 
It's uh, New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year, 2024. Uh, probably one of the weirdest New Year's Eves in retrospect. Uh, the mid-sale slump hit us. Everybody was a little up and down. Nobody was just super jazzed, you know, was kind of it's kind of one of those things you're looking at how much time is left before we get there and with the weather system in front of us that we had to adjust course by uh, four whole degrees south or possibly four whole degrees south. It, it kind of was kind of a bummer, but today everybody's really kind of bounced back, uh, having some fun, some laughs. Probably not the safest day to do this, but, huh? It's like extreme sport or something. Feels like pretty bad. That's beautiful. Can you make turn yourself? We're waiting for it. We <laughs> one more piece. I'm doing that one alone. He's kind of big. I spin, but I don't think I share. Oh no, go the other way. Come on, keep your rotation. You are good. Yeah, buddy. Look at that shit. Patches of seaweed are getting ginormous. It's like we're following the yellow brick road. What you got there, buddy? <laughs> yeah, he's like really fresh. Yeah, he can't be more than like an hour or two, right? Yeah, he's like... Wow. Hi, dude. Well, I'm gonna chuck him in the fridge then. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, he looks fresh. Yeah, his eyes aren't weird. I think that's a thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, usually it is if it's cloudy, but yeah, no, he's... Yeah, because I mean, he was... He's kind of cool too, time. still. What just happened? It's one of the big ones. Wow, look at those wings. Look at them. Yeah. They got big eyes. Yeah, he's got like scales everywhere. I don't know where he's going. Yeah, he's probably flopping around. No, true. Oh, he smells. We're going to have this for a snack tomorrow. Well, I broke the uh, master batten car on the main yesterday. Batten car exploded the bearings out of it. Putting too much pressure on it as we reefed. Uh, kind of a bummer. Well, we've got another 1,100 miles to go, and instead of having that extra little push, uh, with the main up, uh, we're just on our Genoa. Genoa keeps pretty good speed, still. Uh, it's just not as consistent. But, my bad, we'll get that fixed. And we got to Grenada and uh, keep going from there.
some more fishies. That is the tiniest little baby fish. Tiny, tiny flag fish. He's all crispy. He's been here a while. Poor little guy. He was under the safety line oh. on starboard side. Mm -hmm. Good little guy. A lot of crispy boys today. What holiday is it today, B? Normal day. Normal day. What do we do on normal day? Make cornbread. We're gonna make some uh, rosemary bread. To uh, contain my. Yeah. It's morning so the, the winds are still swirling as they do. Goodbye fish number two. Yeah, we're placing the filters today on the uh, seawater pool water maker. And the uh, water we made yesterday was a bit rank. Pulled the filters, they were nice and dirty, so should have done it beforehand. But we're running some water today. And Make it tasty again. And before that, we'll shower and do laundry and try and get a lot of that out. <laughs> before we make new water and put the new water in with the old stinky water, we're all going to bathe and do laundry in stinky water <laughs> to try and use it up. Uh, the rest of it, I think, we'll just dump. Okay. Day 21 of our transatlantic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this morning, yeah, we all stink. You smell like raw onions. Oh, I smell like raw onions. Is that a good thing? I'll put you in a potato salad. All right. Um, we saw our first sailboat in maybe two weeks. He's quite a bit further ahead, but still within range, which is cool. It's nice to know that there's other people out here. Uh, let's see. Bless you. The morale of everybody is uh, about that three-quarter mark where everybody is excited and wants to get there. We're all daydreaming about food desires. What is it that you craved this morning? Scrambled from Cafe Cook with the almond latte. Mmm, I like it. Almond vanilla latte. If you're uh, near the Huntington Beach area, Cafe Cup, amazing place. Uh, little mom and pop diner. We've shifted our clocks. That's one of the big things. We were staying on Gibraltar time mainly so I knew when to download the weather reports because they update every 12 hours and I just wanted to make sure that we were at least in the earliest part of the update. So we're all trying to get used to that. <clears throat> Jason's been uh, an amazing sailor. Uh, he's been covering the early night uh, from 10 to 2. Uh, 
uh, maybe 9 to 2, 10 to 2, something like that, and uh, has done an excellent job. Uh, couldn't be more stoked that he's on board. of the crossing. I haven't filmed much this crossing. Mostly because I just do not feel well. <laughs> um, there's a lot of swell seemingly from every direction. Uh, mostly from our back, but the last couple days it's come from our side pretty bad, which is not too fun. And I get seasick, which sucks, so I'm wearing a little patch. like poison that doesn't have sugar in it. <laughs> so it's been a bit of a struggle with my body, which really sucks. We're about 250 miles away from Grenada. I don't know why sailing can't be like this every day. <laughs> Uh, it's been uh, it's been pretty nice the past week. Um, there's been some cross world. It's been a little bit of a bummer, but not too bad. It's kept up our pace. We hope to be in Grenada in probably about two and a half days. I think everybody's ready to be in Grenada. Get some fun in, some swimming. The weather is beautiful so far. Dang, it looks even worse, man. It's looking dark. Yeah, I don't know if it's coming closer or not. So we thought we were gonna be the only ones to ever make this crossing without getting rained on. Well, well we are 150 miles from Grenada and it finally is raining. And Katie's out here and Jason's out here collecting rainwater for the plants. definitely some shit behind us now too. <laughs> yep, here we're done. As soon as we're done anchoring, Brian makes a cocktail. Brian's been awake since 2 a.m. Yeah. Time zone of where we are is 6.01 a.m. Finally on the right time zone. Finally in the right time zone. We did it. We made it. We made it. We made it. I believe uh, we've been on the anchor now for maybe an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> Jason's already packing to get the fuck off the boat. <laughs> I love you guys, but I gotta get the fuck out of here. We're gonna Google some breakfast and uh, go enjoy some land breakfast, some time off the boat. Kind of put our feet in some sand, feel good. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's a good day. Well, I wasn't looking forward to this conversation. 